Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now I am going to solve this problem 118. So in this problem it is said that determine the moment of force F about point A. So we need to determine the moment of this force about this point A. I have drawn this another axis which is parallel to this y axis. Let's so let's suppose if this is that y dash axis, right? So now by inspection if you want to find the moment of this force so by inspection right so if we look into this diagram into this 3d solid from this from this side right so we will be able to see that this force is producing moment about this a y dash axis is right and the direction of that moment will be like this let me draw it so this will be the direction right so from this side it will look that this f is producing counterclockwise moment about this y dash axis is right and what will be the magnitude of that uh, that moment so that moment will be let's suppose if i write that the moment about this y dash is m y dash right so this m y dash will be equal to the magnitude of this will be f into this a so i will write f into a and since this y dash is parallel to y so we will write that this is j right and if we rotate our fingers in this direction so our thumb will be point out in the positive y dash direction right so this will be the direction of our thumb let me draw it right so this will be my thumb direction right if I rotate, if I curl my right hand fingers in this counterclockwise direction about this y dash axis, so our thumb should point out in the positive y direction. So this this tells us that this is positive j, right? So if this is the vector, so then this is the vector of that m y dash, right? And now if we look into this 3D solid from the top, right? So then we will be able to see that this force is producing a moment about this x axis is right and what will be the direction of that moment so the direction of that moment will be like this or if i draw it like this right so it will be like this and from the top we will see that this moment is uh, counterclockwise as well right and if we rotate our fingers uh, along this arrow if we curl our finger uh, in the like this if we curl our fingers in the counterclockwise direction so our thumb should point out in this positive x direction right so if i write and this will be the moment about x axis is right so if i write so it will be positive and what will be the magnitude so from the top this f has this much perpendicular distance from this point a so we will write that f b and this will be i right so if we write the total moment about a so the total moment about a will be equal to f b i plus f a j and if i take f as a comma so it will be f b i plus a j so this is by inspection the moment about a right so this moment about a has two components one is along i and another one is along j so now if we if we draw those components let me remove these right so if if I draw those components, so one component will be in the i direction, right? So this is the i, so let me draw that. Let's suppose if this is that component. So this is the mx component, right? And one component is in the y direction, right? So if I draw it here. So this is my y dash right we can draw it here and we can draw it here as well right so both the axes are parallel so the final moment that is the resultant moment about a will be the summation of these two components right so it will be somewhere in this direction right so this will be the moment about a right and as we can see that this moment should be perpendicular to this f right so if i draw this moment here let's suppose if i move this moment 
I move this moment here. So these two force, these uh, moment and this force should be perpendicular to each other. So while I have moved this moment here, so from this 3D diagram, we cannot say that the angle between this MO and this F is 90 degrees, but it should be 90 degrees. So as we can see that if I move back this moment about O to, to here, so then as we can see that this moment about A has two components and one component is in the in the x-axis and the other, other component is along the y-axis so this means that this moment about a is in the x-y plane right so if if we draw if, if this moment is in the x-y plane so when we observe this from this side so then this force will be making 90 degrees right so we cannot observe that 90 degree from this 3d diagram right but there is 90 degrees between f and this uh, uh, moment about a let me try to visualize that angle to you people. So let's suppose if I draw that force here, let's suppose if this is that force. Let's suppose if this is that force. So then this angle, this angle will be 90 degrees, right? Now let me remove these and let me apply the second approach to find the moment about A. Let me remove all these as well. Now let's suppose if you want to find the moment about A using this method. So moment about A is equal to the cross product. So let's suppose R vector cross F. So first we will define a, a moment arm vector, right? So let's suppose if I draw that this is the moment vector. Let's suppose if this is our moment vector and let's suppose if this is that R vector. So we need to determine the coordinates of this point A and let's suppose if this is that point B. And let's suppose if this is the origin, right? So what will be the coordinates of this point A? So to reach this point A, we need to travel only A distance, right? So this is A and the y coordinate is 0 and the z coordinate is 0 right and similarly to reach this point b we need to travel how much distance so we need to travel this b distance along y so x coordinate is 0 y coordinate is b and z coordinate is 0 so now let's suppose if this r vector is r a b so r a b vector will be equal to so we will subtract the coordinates of a from b right so this will be 0 minus a i and this will plus b minus 0 j and plus 0 minus 0 k right so it will be 0 k so this is minus a i plus b j so this is that moment arm vector so this is r a b and now what will be the vector representation of this force so force vector is equal to and this force is along the z axis is right so we can write that this is f f into k right since it is along the positive z direction it will be positive k right so this is the vector representation of that force so now if i write so moment about a is equal to minus a i plus b j cross f k so we can find that moment about a like this as well so it will be i j and k minus a b and 0 and 0 0 and f so moment about a will be equal to so we will hide this uh, row and this column so this so b f into i and then we will hide this column right so this determinant is 0 minus a sorry this determinant is and with j we will write minus sign so here it will be minus and it will be minus a f and minus 0 and this will be j right and now we will hide this column right so if i hide this column so this determinant is 0 right so this is 0 
k right so if we simplify this so this will be f b i plus f a j and if i take f common so this will be b i plus a j that same moment that we got by inspection right so this is that same moment and this is that same moment so this is the solution of this problem